Hello and welcome to the regional update from Asia for the month of June. This month, I will be highlighting the tensions between Twitter and the Indian government. The Indian government is locking horns with Twitter over its non-compliance to the Information Technology Rules 2021, thereby raising concerns if the company would lose its intermediary status and the safe harbor protection it presently enjoys on user-generated content. The new IT rules came into effect last month and as part of the compliance, the significant social media intermediaries have to appoint a local compliance officer, nodal contact person, set up grievance res response mechanism, take down content within 36 hours of a legal order. While Twitter has requested for three months extension for compliance, the government has issued one last notice to the company. It may be mentioned that Twitter has been embroiled with the government over its content moderation policy. The government alleges Twitter's content policy is prejudged and prejudiced and the company is defying India and its laws by non-compliance. On the other hand, Twitter has expressed concerns over potential threat of freedom of expression in India. The company further stated that it has complied to most of the takedown notices from the Indian government. Recently, Twitter officials have been summoned by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on IT. And in another case, the police summoned Twitter's top officials to respond over the allegations that the company failed to stop the spread of videos inciting hate and enmity. While the government has stated that non-compliance to the IT rules will lead to loss of Twitter's intermediary status, however, there are counter-arguments that it will be ultimately decided by the courts. Will Twitter want to lose its intermediary status in its third largest market? Will the government or politicians want to lose a platform which they actively use for their propaganda? Both possibilities seem unlikely. We can expect to witness more development and negotiations to hopefully de-escalate this tension. And that's all from me for this month. Thank you.